Namaste. Today we will learn some theorems based on similarity of right triangles. So let us draw a triangle first that is right angled. Let this be A, B and C. Right angle that B. Next we will draw a perpendicular line from angle B that is 90 degree angle. We have a vertex here we are drawing a perpendicular to the other side that is AC. Now let us name this as D. You can find so many triangles here. That is triangle ABD, triangle BDC, triangle ABC. Three triangles. We will check is there any relation between these three triangles and their similarities. Now in triangle ADB and triangle ABC. Here it is 90 degree. First we will check ADB. This upper triangle and the bigger triangle ABC. In that we can see angle A equal to angle A that is common. And here ADB in this triangle angle D is 90 degree. And this bigger triangle we have angle B is 90 degree. So according to AA similarity we can say triangle ADB is similar to triangle ABC. AA similarity. Next consider this triangle that is BDC and the bigger triangle. In that we have C angle common and angle B is here 90. Here angle D is again 90. So AA similarity we can say this smaller triangle and the bigger triangle are similar triangles. That is triangle BDC is similar to triangle ABC. Again AA similarity. Now compare this we can see ADB is similar to ABC. BDC is similar to ABC. So from these two steps we can write all the three triangles that is this one ABC and BDC are similar to each other. That is triangle ADB, similar triangle BDC, similar triangle ABC. Now this is what theorem 6.7 states. That is if a perpendicular is drawn from the vertex of the right angle of a right triangle to the hypotenuse. Then triangles on both sides of the perpendicular are similar to the whole triangle and to each other. This is what we write here. Next is theorem 6.8. We have already learned Pythagoras theorem that is related to right triangle. Hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus altitude square that we have already proved in the previous classes. But now here we are trying to prove related to similar triangles. So the statement is in a right triangle the square of the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the square of other two sides. That is what Pythagoras stated. Now to prove that let us draw a right triangle. Right angle let B. Here let it be A and C. Now we will draw a perpendicular. So here also it will be 90 degree. We need to prove that AC square that is hypotenuse square is equal to AB square altitude square plus base square that is BC square. This is the Pythagoras theorem but we have to prove it using similarity of triangles. We have drawn BD is perpendicular to AC that is here it will be 90 degrees. Triangle ADB that is ADB will be similar to triangle bigger one that is ABC according to the previous theorem. In that we proved if in a right triangle, a line, perpendicular line is drawn like this. Here the smaller triangle will be similar to the bigger one. That is what we write here. Now if these two triangles are similar, we can say they are sides proportionality. That is AD by AB equal to AB by AC. AB by AC. Also one more is the DB by BC. We will consider this much to prove this statement. Taking this part, we can rearrange it. We will cross multiply and write AD into AC is ADAC and AB into AB is AB square. This is first equation. Now we will consider this smaller triangle and the bigger triangle. 
again we have proved in theorem 6.7 that this triangle and the bigger will be similar so we directly write triangle bdc is that is this one is similar to triangle bigger one that is triangle abc according to the previous theorem theorem 6.7 now if these triangles are similar we can write the sides proportionality that is cd by bc equal to bc by ac now we will again cross multiply this becomes bc square equal to cd into ac is ac cd this be second now considering the first equation and second equation we will add those equations that is 1 plus 2 on LHS part we have AB square and BC square so that we will write here LHS part is AB square plus BC square equal to RHS part we have AD into AC plus AC into CD in this we can see AC is common. So here we will write AB square plus BC square equal to AC taking outside. Here from first term AC is taken outside balance will be AD. Plus here AC is taken outside balance will be CD. Close the bracket. AD plus CD the total length that is AC. So instead of this we will write AC that is AB square plus BC square equal to here already we have AC now AD plus CD is again another AC AC into AC is AC square this is what Pythagoras state that is hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus altitude square now we proved using similarity of triangles just for your knowledge the above theorem that is Theorem 6.8 is also known as Baudelaire theorem because it was him who first introduced that theorem. So it is also called as Baudelaire theorem. Now next is theorem 6.9. In a triangle, if square of one side is equal to the sum of square of other two sides, then the angle opposite the first side is a right angle that is converse of Pythagoras theorem that we have to prove using similarity of triangles. That is if hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus altitude square then the angle opposite to hypotenuse will be 90 degree that is the converse of Pythagoras so we have to prove that angle B equal to 90 degree this is what we have to prove A B C and we have we have A C square equal to A B square plus B C square so to prove that we will construct one more triangle where in this triangle we don't know this is 90 degree that we don't know that we have to prove but now we are considering another triangle with 90 degree here let us let this be q and this p and r only condition is that that construction angle q is 90 degree constructing also this length is equal to BC. So QR equal to BC and this length that is PQ equal to AB. That is according to our construction. To prove this angle is also 90 degree. So what we want to do? First we have to show that these two triangles are congruent. Then we can say angle Q equal to angle B that is corresponding part of congruent triangle. Then we can show they are 90 degree. That is the method we are going to prove now considering these two triangles here already we have the step it is given now if this is a right triangle then we can write it as that is Pythagoras theorem so we will write here PR square is equal to PQ square plus QR square because Pythagoras theorem now checking here you can see QR equal to BC and PQ equal to AB according to construction. So we are going to substitute it. So PR square is there and instead of PQ we will write AB square plus instead of QR we will write BC square because it is equal according to construction. Now comparing these two steps we can see AB square plus BC square is here. AB square plus BC square here, here too. So AC square will be equal to 
this LHS part because RHS are equal. So, LHS will also be equal. AC square equal to PR square. That means AC will be equal to PR. That is taking square root on both sides. We can see AC equal to PR. AC equal to PR. According to construction, we have QR equal to BC and PQ equal to AB. Now we proved AC equal to PR. That is three sides are equal. So according to SSS congruency, these two triangles are congruent. If these two triangles are congruent, angle Q will be equal to angle B. That is CPCT. Now angle Q is 90 according to our construction. Then we can say angle B will also be 90 degree. So that is what we have to prove here. Angle B is 90 degree. So we proved.